Good day. I am Janice Tagde Bautista, Master in Educational Management presented the thesis with the title Multimedia and Learners Engagement Among Grade 12 Students in Grade 6 Quezon City. Background of the study. This study applied multimedia and grade 12 students in District 6 of Quezon City and evaluated the perception and the use of multimedia to learners' engagement. The main purpose of this study is to determine if the utilization of multimedia as teaching method would create an impact on senior high school learners' engagement during the class sessions. An information and communication and technologies empowered education system that changed students into dynamic lifelong learners and value-centered. Beneficial and mindful residents depended on the Depth at five year ICT 4E strategic plan entitled 21st Century Education for All Filipinos Anytime Anywhere by DepEd 2008. In the year 2010, the DepEdor, the Department of Education, began the delivery of ICT packages. The intention is to provide public schools with the proper technology that would help the teachers' improvement of the educating learning process and addresses the challenges of the 21st century. According to the Carson 20, 2008, most of the, of the teachers prefer teaching through the multimedia to get learners' attention and they thought that the students will be more engaged once they teach in their expectations. Sometimes, the success of the education at all levels is not easy to achieve. Students learn more when they are strongly focused in education and will apply it in different settings. Multimedia applications together with the individual approaches within the didactic process can help in the direction of Milkova 2014. Significance of the study The Department of Education This study will be beneficial as reference for the current program of the department regarding the ICT utilization to analyze the needs of the teachers and students that can lead to the improvement of using multimedia and students' engagement. This study will con contribute to the development of school performance facilities students performance and standard of the school this will also help as basis for the implementing to raise curriculum and how to enhance the learning process for the 21st generation of learners this study will benefit the teachers in terms of teaching strategies it will help them know new possible strategies of teaching that will engage students interest in learning instructions this study will be beneficial for students to be aware of what might be the result of using multimedia as their teacher's new teaching method in accordance with their studies. They will mostly benefit from this study because it will enhance their enthusiasm in learning through multimedia. This study will help the parents to know that their child's performance is in accordance to learning through multimedia. For the future researchers, this study will help them expand their ideas and knowledge of using multimedia as teachers' strategy of teaching and their possible impact on students' academic performance. Methods of research This thesis has followed the approach of descriptive analysis and data collection. Descriptive research has been used for the purpose of this study to identify, clarify, and verify the experience of the respondents in using multimedia to the level of engagements of the learners. Population, sample size, and sampling techniques. The respondents of the study were grade 12 students from public senior high school of District 6 of Quezon City. The total of 223 participants were used in the study out of 503 total population using Slovin's formula. By using simple random sampling, participants were selected. The simple method of random sampling was carried out where each member of the population had the same opportunity to become part of the sample. The researcher first identified the population, listed all the members of the population, and then selected members to make the sample to carry out the sampling strategy. To this end, the respondents were given a survey questionnaire in the Likert scale format to answer. Research instrument. Because the survey questionnaire used was revised one, the experts were consulted. Their comments and suggestions further helped the researcher in polishing the questionnaire. Before the distribution of the instrument, the questionnaire was checked by the experts for revision and was administered to the 30 students of grade 12 senior high school students who were not 
part of the respondents to examine the relationship or of perception in applying multimedia to the interaction of learners. The researchers created a questionnaire. The research instruments is divided into two parts. The part one, the students survey provides 12 items to measure the perception on using multimedia as adapted from one alley to 2014. The items utilized a five-point scale for perception on using multimedia. The mean rating obtained by the sample were converted into qualitative description. Part 2 contains three sections related to learners' engagement, affective, behavioral, and cognitive engagement, which are 18 items ad adapted by Hart, Stewart, and Jeff Merson of 2011. For the student's answer, a five-point Likert type scale was used for the survey. For students' level of engagement when multimedia devices being used during class discussion, the main rating obtained by the sample were converted into a qualitative description. Data gathering procedure. The researchers submitted a letter seeking permission to conduct research study to the school division of Quezon City, particularly in District 6 Senior High School as address to the school division superintendent. After securing the permit, the approved letter was presented to the school administrators and to the senior high school coordinator where the, the survey was conducted. After the approval, the researcher administered the copies of approved questionnaire to gather the relevant data from the selected students of grade 12 senior high school in District 6 of Quezon City. The researcher presented the survey to students providing the direction and distributed the survey form or questionnaire to the participants. Collection of the questionnaire was carried out of, by the researcher. Statistical treatment of data. For a, accurate statistical treatment of data and in order to achieve in-depth interpretation of the findings, the researcher made use of the following. Weighted mean and pers person product moment correlation coefficient. Weighted means this measure of central tendency was utilized to determine the student's perception in using multimedia and learner's engagement. Person product moment correlation coefficient. This is a linear comparison measure between two variables x and y, which gives a value between positive one and negative one, and is quantity without proportion or unit less. Findings and discussion. Table 2 presents the overall perception of senior high school students as to using multimedia and teaching learning situation. As presented in the table, 12 criteria were rated as agree. However, they are neither agree nor disagree in that idea that multimedia is better than a traditional instruction with a weighted mean of 3.46. And multimedia does not create problems in the learning process obtained the weighted mean of 3.26. It can be deduced that the perception on using multimedia amounted to the equivalent of agree based on the grand weighted mean of 3.83. As revealed by the Table 3, majority of the respondents assess a statement about the level of effective engagement when multimedia devices being used during the class discussion as highly engaged. However, only one item shows that students disagree that engage that using multimedia device as tool for learning is boring. This finding is further supported by the computed weighted mean of 2.43. It was found that generally the effective engagement of the students when this is being utilized is highly engaged. As revealed in the table, when multimedia devices being used during classroom discussion, the level of behavioral engagement of the students when this is being utilized is highly engaged. The two highest mean values of 4.04 3.19 respectively specifically were statement, I try hard to do well in school and I pay attention in class. The two statements which got the lowest and the similar weighted mean of 3.71 were I volunteer to help with school activities and I take an active role in the school activities. It was found that generally the behavioral engagement of the students when this being utilized is highly engaged. This conclusion is anchored to the computed grand weighted mean of 3.84. The level of cognitive engagement with multimedia devices being used during the class discussion is the data shown. Furthermore, the lowest two weighted mean are as follows. When I study, I try to connect what I am learning with my own experience. It can be deduced that students are highly engaged. 
This finding is further solidified by the computed weighted mean of 4.0. When I study, I figure out how the information might be useful in the real world. It can be deduced that students are highly engaged. This finding is further solidified by the computed weighted mean of 4.0. When learning things by school, I often try to associate them with what I learned in school classes about the same or similar things. It can be deduced that students are highly engaged. This finding is further solidified with a computed weighted mean of 3.9. It was found that generally the computed cognitive engagement of the students when this is being utilized is highly engaged. This conclusion is anchored on the computed graduated mean of 4.02. The table presented in the significant association or relationship between the respondents' perception, the use of multimedia, and learners' and learning engagement, it can be gleaned from the concerned tabulated data about the, the perception on using multimedia and effective engagement has major relationship based on the R value 0.537,000. This is highly higher than P value of zero. This signifies significant relationship. Hence, the null hypothesis that there is no significant relationship between the perception and the use of multimedia in students' effective learning engagement is rejected. It can be seen as well from tabulated data above that the perception of using multimedia and behavior engagements has a medium relationship based on the R value of, five, of 0 0.559 thousands. This is higher than P value of zero. This signifies significant relationship. Hence, the null hypothesis that there is no significant relationship between the perception and the use of multimedia and students' behavior learning engagement is rejected. It is likewise noted that the tabulated data that the perception and using multimedia and students' engagement has high relationship based on the R value of 6300. This is higher than the P value of zero. This signifies significant relationship too. Hence, the null hypothesis that there is no significant relationship between the perception, the use of multimedia, and the student's cognitive learning engagement is rejected. Finally, it is observed from the tabulated data that the perception on using multimedia and cognitive engagement has high relationship based on the R value of 658,000. This is relatively higher than the P value of zero. This indeed signifies significant relationship. Hence, the null hypothesis that there is no significant relationship between the perception in the use of multimedia and student learn and a student's learning engagement is rejected. Conclusions: The overall perception of senior high school students as to using multimedia in teaching learning situation can be deduced as agree. This only means that using multimedia as perceived by senior high school students can be used effectively in the classroom. The respondents agree in the idea that the multimedia provides an easier way for students and teachers in delivering information. It's very fun and interesting to be used, and multimedia promotes better understanding and additional information. However, they neither agree nor disagree in the idea that multimedia is better than traditional instruction, and multimedia does not create problems in the learning process. Number two, the overall analysis on the level of off affective engagement of the students when multimedia devices being utilized during class discussion is highly engaged. This is an indication that students' emotion or feelings is greatly influenced by the utilization of audiovisual learning materials. It has a positive impact on their interest in learning. The overall analysis on the level of behavioral engagement of the students when multimedia is being utilized is highly engaged. This is an indication the student's behavior is greatly influenced by the utilization of multimedia device. It makes them physically active and cooperative inside the classroom. It means their psychomotor skills are triggered and being maximized. The overall analysis and the level of cognitive engagement of the students when multimedia devices being utilized is highly engaged. This is an implication that students' cognitive engagement is also influenced by the utilization of multimedia device. It makes them be mentally engaged inside the classroom. It signifies that minds perform better if visual and audio materials or tools were utilized in classroom teaching. A student's perception on using multimedia and level of learning engagement 
was significantly related or associated, the null hypothesis is then rejected. Again, I am Janice Lagio Bautista, Master in Educational Management, presented the thesis with the, with the title Multimedia and Learners Engagement Among Grade 12 Students in District 6, Quezon City.